I finished the book and then I read it again. So I read the book twice. Okay, I've actually read the book quite a few times, but if you look at your rubric, it does say that you should read the book at least once. And as I told you on Thursday, if you choose a short book, and I chose a short book, you should try to read it at least two times. So that's what I did. After I finished reading, I sat down and I wrote my book talk. I used the sample script that you have. And I used some of the sentence starters, but I also changed some of them so that I can use my own words to write my book talk. I'm gonna share that book talk with you. And then I'm also going to share it with a partner so you can see what it's like to give feedback and receive feedback. All right, here's my book talk for Dragon Love Tacos. The title of my book is Dragons Love Tacos. The author of my book is Adam Rubin and the illustrator is Daniel Salmeri. The main character is the kid. The author doesn't tell us the kid's name, but I think the kid is a 10 year old boy. The kid also has a dog named Cody and he really likes dragons. In this story, we learn that dragons love all kinds of tacos. If you want to be friends with a dragon, you should make them tacos. The kid really likes dragons. I can tell because he has dragon toys, pictures, a lampshade, and even dragon books in his room. Dragons love tacos, and they also love parties. The kid decides to throw the dragons a taco party, but he will have to be sure of one thing. Dragons love tacos, but they hate spicy salsa. The kid will need to make sure there is no spicy salsa at the party. The kid makes lots of tacos and he thinks he got rid of all the spicy salsa. But then we see that the kid forgot to read the entire label on one jar of salsa. This is going to be a problem. Read the book to find out what happened next. You should read Dragons Love Tacos because it will make you laugh. The illustrations of dragons are very funny and detailed. My favorite part is when the narrator gives instructions for how to have a taco party for dragons. If you read this book, I think you will laugh and you will learn an important lesson about dragons. Okay, that's my first draft. I think I did pretty well, but I'm gonna practice it again and I'm gonna practice it with a partner. I'm going to look at my book talk checklist and I'm also going to double check the book talk rubric to make sure that I'm hitting at least three and I really hope a four in each category. When I practice, my book talk partner is going to give me two glows and one grow. A glow is something I did great and a grow is something that I can improve the next time I deliver my book talk. They could tell me maybe I should write something a little bit differently, or maybe I didn't speak clearly. Maybe I need to speak up so that people at the back of the classroom can hear me when I'm talking. We'll see what my partner says, but I know that I'm gonna learn a lot, whatever they tell me. Thanks so much for listening and good luck as you finish reading and as you finish writing your first draft.